because Democratic lawmakers are now pushing for the public option for Obamacare. Look, this would create government-run insurances that compete with private companies, and it comes amid the recent woes uh, of companies like Aetna, United Healthcare. They're talking about losing a billion dollars on the Affordable Care Act uh, because of these, you know, they've got these losses. Look, you oversaw the launch of Obamacare. We all know there were problems with the, with the launch. Nobody knows better than you. There are still problems, Secretary. What needs to be got, done to the Affordable Care Act? Well, I don't think there's any question that this is still a, a new market. And the good news for a lot of people is that uh, they have competition, they have price choices, and they have full insurance coverage in ways that they never had a choice in the old individual market about um, lots of people were locked out, Maria, with a medical underwriting. They couldn't get insurance at all. If they had any choice, it was one program, and rates were double-digit year in and year out. So there's now competition and choice, and most people in the new marketplace can find a plan for about $75 a month. That's an incredible price gift for folks getting a full range of insurance coverage and preventive care for themselves and their kids. So these markets are growing. There is more competition right now in the markets than before. I think what the Democrats are saying is if there's a market where there's a monopoly, where people don't have a choice, we should relook at a public option to create that choice. But we see private insurers moving into markets that they've never been in before. And you know, now there are 20 million people, either through Medicaid expansion or the marketplaces, who yeah. have full insurance coverage for themselves and their families. Yeah, but Secretary, you know, yes, more people are insured, but this law is bankrupting companies. This law is making it very expensive for companies, big and small. They're laying off workers. They're complaining. The insurance companies are pulling out because they're losing a billion dollars on it. Something's got to give. I mean, even individuals are saying, my health care costs, now I'm paying $800, $1,000 a month. I mean, is it fair to say this was a failure? I don't think it's a failure at all. We have the lowest rate of uninsured that this nation has ever seen. And frankly, the reality is that overall health care costs have grown at a slower rate since the president signed this law in 2010 than ever recorded in history. Medicare growths are down. Private insurance growth is actually at a slower rate. Overall medical inflation is down. So no, this is hardly a failure. Does it need help and support? Do we need to look at aspects of the law? You bet. It's a very fledgling market. I'm a former insurance commissioner and I, I have watched markets grow and companies move in and out of the private uh, individual coverage market over and over again. What you haven't seen, Maria, which everybody predicted, is employers would just drop their coverage. That has not happened. People haven't been dumped in the street. Employer coverage is stronger than ever. So I think all aspects of the system are beginning to work together, and the new markets will, will take a while to sort out. Uh, we need to relook at the risk quarters. We need to look at the special enrollment periods, but people are getting full insurance coverage in a way that they could have never gotten before the Affordable Care Act. Is there a way to make it cheaper? Well, I think, I think continuing to look at prices, insurance is still regulated at the state level, and there are states who have done a very good job making sure that, again, price gouging is not going on, that the rates are justified with the costs, and competition works. I'm a big believer in marketplace competition. It was part of the framework of the law. If you have more insurers competing, rates are far less expensive for individuals. And as I say, most of the individuals can find a plan in the market with full insurance coverage for $75 a month. That's a pretty good deal. All right, we will leave it there. Secretary Sebelius, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Nice to see you again. Kathleen Sebelius there. Still